Dave. All right, our good friend Anthony Spina over at System. You'll see what it is. Send us a couple packages in the mail. Yep. Whoa, okay. I got some gear over here. I think I got sweatpants. I got half of your hair. This is what you're looking for. I'll call. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, where's the booze? Dude, oh my god. This is like a dad hat. That what they probably call those, like the flat brim. Oh my god, dude. Yo, check out this branding. It's got the mat. I dig that. Wow. The first inclusive drinking system. So there's a whole background of like, some people put out seltzers and, and different things, and it's like, you know, everyone's just competing with each other, doing the kind of the same type of thing. This is kind of taking that whole mantra and flipping it on its ear a little bit. Of the, you this, flip things on your ears, not on your head? Yeah, I go ears. Okay, <laughs> cool, 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 cool. Cool, 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 cool. Gentlemen, you are and always have been some of the realest in the game. It is an honor to share an exclusive first taste of System Seltzers. Does that say the? System Seltzers. The first yeah, one. Yeah. The. Oh. The? Yeah. The first inclusive drinking system, providing something for everyone, whether you are drinking alcohol or not. Enjoy these super limited edition squad gear as well, not for sale to the general public. Welcome to the System Seltzer Squad. Hey. Mr. Anthony Spina. What you're looking at right here is the most majestic sausage in the entire United States. A proprietary blend given to nobody else but Vito and Nick's. You can't buy it, you have to earn it. Voted the number one hard seltzer by Seltzerland. Look at this. Ooh, it's got the, like the raised. This is just nice merch. Oh, wow, okay. Trying to drive, have a good time, or get hammered. <laughs> I can't believe we got sweats. I'm such a sucker for a pair of sweatpants. Oh, they're shorts. Oh, nice. They're sweatpant material shorts. Man, these are so showing really yeah, good. I'd wear these. Raised You know I'd wear some sweatpants shorts. Sick. All right, so today we're gonna drink these. Yeah, dude. <laughs> and do a first ever <laughs> System Seltzer taste test. You saw us open the package, you saw we got a bunch of different system beverages and some cool gear. We're excited to try them. Uh, you saw that we got mango and black cherry flavor and a bunch of different percentages, zero, five, and eight percent. Uh, if you've watched our show before and watched us review seltzers, you know we're not huge fans of black cherry, so we just pushed that off to the side. We're gonna go with the mango and give these a little taste test. We didn't get zero percenters for these, but we got fives and eights. And uh, I think this is a fascinating little move that they make. I know. And it is. we're gonna check it out and see, like, how, what is the difference? Is one way stronger? Is one way lighter? And kind of give you a breakdown of the difference between the fives and the eights. Yeah. So excited to do that, guys. I know. I like the nine pack idea. I get that he's doing something very unique there. Yeah. So we're gonna be the ones that are actually cracking it and kind of getting into the can and stuff. Too. Fun so stuff. Let's do it. And then also, right now, for Patreon folks, we've got three autographed shirts, three of our number six with cheese legendary shirts that are now framed and autographed. 150 bucks each. We got the sure I'll have a drink shirt. We got a jump cut shirt. And we got the X design. So one of each. Once they sell, they be gone. They be gone forever. Uh, so if you're a Patreon member, you can buy those right now. If any of them are not scooped up this week for Patreon members, we'll put them live for everyone next week. But what we kind of saw last week, last time we did this, they sold out. Yeah, they were gone. So if you want to yeah. hop onto Patreon and become a Patreon and buy it, you can do that. Yeah. We're not limiting you to not have to have already been a Patreon. So thanks to the people that support that, snag those up. Let's get to drinking. Um, are you going to start with a particular one? What are you thinking? Start I'm going to start five, I think, Makes then sense. go eight. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Nice. We like to do that at the same time for some yeah. reason. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. Okay. It was very crisp. Also, I told Corey I love doing this to seltzers. I like love the carbonation and aeration, so I always put it in a glass with ice. Oh, Ooh, that's, that's jumping. Just jumping. You guys probably can't see it, but we got this light coming in. It's jumping. Very bubbly. Do you think that there's a flavor difference in... Did you dribble? Do you want me to not focus on that right now? We can move on. <clears throat> there's no proof that I dribbled. <laughs> Do you think that it tastes different with the ice? I do. I just think, the chilledness. I don't know it, what it is. I like the 
the, the, like, the drinking uh, experience. Experience, yeah, yeah. Better. Like I would never do this to a beer. I'm not right. psychotic. But something about a canned cocktail or a seltzer, I really like in a glass with ice. Yeah, yeah. cool. I don't know why. Now, do you mind if I go ahead? Because what I'm mainly excited about is comparing the two. I know. I know. Do you mind if I? Pop? Yeah, man. I got a second. Well, a couple of ice. <laughs> Dude, we're, we're a part Jeez. of this system. I ain't gonna be part of this system. Oh wow, right. I cheers him. Flavor, I cheers him and then didn't drink. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like how an IPA and a double IPA, one is like more malty and hoppy. Yeah, you yeah. really can tell. This one almost feels just, not heavier is the right word, but there's like more in it. Like there's more, it's like a thickerness. A thickness, yeah. if you will. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's my, and I'll see you guys later. I'm done yeah. reviewing yeah. anything ever. Put that garbage in another man's face. Um, mine, the wetness of the liquid seems to be the same. The viscosity of it. <laughs> Are you sure the viscosity the of that wetness is the same? Uh, no, you know what is interesting though? I don't know if there's a, I guess there's a big enough difference in how hammered you get. Yeah. Of course, right? Of course. I was gonna say like, I don't, there's definitely not a big enough difference in taste. Like my gut tells me I would drink the 100 calories just for the calorie, but then I guess sometimes I wanna get drunker. I think that I like traditionally like the more 5% range in stuff I drink. Like I don't like drinking like eight, nine percents a lot because I can only have a couple. Mm. I like the like social angle of like watching football or hanging out with friends and yeah. having a lot of drinks. It's the feeling good all the time. It's football season. I want to have a lot of different refills of my drink with my friends. Sundays are long. So Saturdays like, too. If the same, it's the same reason I drink like lighter beers on game days rather than a bunch of IPAs. Habitual drink. And I'm gonna feel heavier and kind of yep. fuller. So I think that's the same system. This is the system. Yeah. For me, I kind of stick in this five percent range. And you know what this is for? What? You're getting ready to go out. Yeah. Drinks Pre are gonna be expensive. Yeah. And you need to hurry up and like, look, I'm not gonna be there all day. Let me just get a quick aider in me. A little aider. You just take this bad boy and slam it down the hatch. And that's just how we would approach it. I'm sure other people have other reasons and ways, yeah. things like that. And then the zeros, I've just already dumped those out. Those have been in the garbage for minutes. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> or given to our uh, lamer friends. Yeah, given to our friends that um, you know, be might be driving us to the bar. It would be fun to like <laughs> trick people. Yeah, you can. Although it does say the percentage pretty big on the cans, I do have some dumb friends. Where I feel like I could be like, dude, I got some seltzers, let's go boys. Hey, have these, Dave. And then he'd be like, Dave. Oh, he'd be like, I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it, dude. And then he'd be like, 0%, you idiot. You've been a liar your whole life. <laughs> yeah. It's such a like, it doesn't even feel, it doesn't even look like alcohol. It's like, there's something about it to me, it's very slick and like, Modern looking. It is. It's just it screams like if there's more class here than a lot of the yeah, like, yeah. other cans all stand out and like or stand. They all stick together. They'll look the same. It's got the mat. It's got the mat which I love. It's got the letter that's really a number that's turned a different way. That's yes. very like tech, yes. like yes. new age tech. Very new age tech. It's got the flat box that's also like a thing. Like mm -hmm. hey, we're just inside of a square. Don't worry about us. Can't yeah. box us in, but we can. Right. You know that type of thing. <laughs> right. 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 And you're like whoa. Yeah. And these are all gluten free. Oh wow. I got some friends who like that. Yeah, they shit when they drink beer. Mm-hmm. I didn't ask what their problem was. <laughs> oh, I always make them go into detail. Is it detail. a poop problem? Uh, do you have like a stomach thing and then is it just like a, <laughs> then I have no friends. So we've had the co-founder, Anthony Spina, on our show before. We've done a lot of fun stuff with him. He actually worked in the lifestyle brands like with PBR and White Claw for a decade. So he kind of knows what he's doing and kind of building something like this, which is really cool. So right now you can find System in both Illinois and Wisconsin. So all of our local fans that watch this, if you want to try this, you can snag it in those two states. It's an inclusive drinking system, right? There's zero, five, and eight. If I drink two hands in it with a five and an eight, am I drinking a 13? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so. Okay, I don't either. That was just like a dumb joke to say out loud. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I meant to say. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't lie about the laugh. Say, say how dumb it was. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> little eight, little five. Little eight, little five. Probably not intended how, how they're intended to be consumed. But. No juice in here. Zero juice. Zero percent juice. Do you have a flavor that you hope they come out with next? So they, right now they've just got the black cherry and the mango. Have you, we've done a lot of seltzer reviews. Is there anything jumped out where you've liked a certain <sighs> certain fruit? I'll give you mine. Okay. If, yeah. you, want, if you want me to think yeah. of it. 
I really want a uh, pineapple. Oh, okay. Pineapple, a lot of the times for me, even like kind of fake pineapple, because they're not using, they're not squeezing pineapples into these seltzers. Mm -hmm. What they yeah. use with the sugars and stuff. I really kind of tend to like like a pineapple seltzer, mm. and you can use that sometimes in other drinks. I've had like people yeah, people make cocktails one. with seltzers yep. as the base, and it's really good. So I'm hoping for a pineapple. Oh, that's awesome. Out of all the seltzers we've tried, I haven't found a flavor that I liked. It's been pretty uh, all over the place, probably. Yeah. What are some final thoughts on the mango system? Five and the eighter. Yeah, I, so I think this is really cool. I love the options that we kind of gave before, like five percenters. This is gonna be my all day drinking move when I like football days. Yeah. And then these eight percenters, there are times where I'm like in a rush to get to the buzz. I get it. I'm, I'm gonna rush yeah. to buzz town and yeah. I need someone to curry me that, there and that's this. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. And uh, so I kind of like that. I know. I like that. I really love how innovative Anthony is, um, and at the fact that he's solving a problem and he's trying to be unique. He's doing something that the other seltzer brands aren't doing, and so I really like shout out to him for like always just like innovating and being. And he's also just the nicest dude in the world. Yeah, he's somebody that I'm always really rooting for. So I'm excited to see him continue to. And also, Anthony, if you are watching this video, the fact that you sent only 20 different people in the city like the swag, and we were in that. That, that means the world. It's pretty so cool. Thank you so much. Gosh darn G.